Hello Paddock's Press readers. I've recently received some complaints from clients claiming that their scheme's managing agent has been grossly negligent in not including a levy schedule in the AGM notice pack sent to all the members 14 days before the AGM. Therefore, I thought it would be a good idea for us to take a few minutes to consider whether a levy schedule has to form part of the notice pack sent to all members when an AGM is being called. Now, there is nothing in the Sectional Title Schemes Management Act that expressly requires that a copy of the levy schedule be sent to all members prior to the AGM. However, Prescribed Management Rule 15.3b does require that the notice of a general meeting include a copy or a comprehensive summary of any document that is to be considered or approved by the members at the meeting. But when we look closely at the order of business at an AGM, we see that Prescribed Management Rule 17.6j clearly states that it is the budgets for the administrative and reserve funds for the next financial year that are to be approved by the members, not the levy schedules. In fact, Prescribed Management Rule 17 does not refer to levy schedules at all. Now, it could be argued that the levy schedule is a supporting document to be considered by the members when they contemplate acceptance or rejection of the proposed budgets. By such reasoning, the schedule should be sent to all members in terms of Prescribed Management Rule 15.3b. But in my opinion, this would be a far too broad interpretation of the rule. A more accurate reading, in my opinion, would be that while the body corporate is not technically legally obliged to include a copy of the levy schedule in the notice, it would be reasonable for it to do so, as it would provide the members with information which they may consider important to arrive at the decision that they need to make at the AGM, namely whether to accept or reject the proposed administrative and reserve fund budgets. I'm very careful when making this statement, however, as I do not believe that a body corporate's rejection or acceptance of a budget should be based on members' affordability at all. When considering a budget, the members should be considering whether the budget sufficiently provides for the scheme's needs and expenses. And if it does, it should be accepted, regardless of the effect thereof on any member's bank balance. Therefore, in conclusion, while it is widely considered good practice to include a levy schedule in an AGM notice pack, it is not a legal requirement to do so. And what's more, an omission of this document may actually shift the focus from individual affordability to the financial needs of the scheme as a whole. I trust that you find this video tutorial helpful. Until next time, goodbye.